Hey, if you and I wanted to have some fun together, what would you choose to do? I mean, what's the strangest thing you can think of? Well, let me give you a suggestion for some real fun. Welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert. Thanks for joining me for some fun today. I'm really grateful you're here. My goal is to introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and then help them get to know him and his word personally and better. So if our time together today speaks to your heart, let me invite you to like, subscribe, and share it with a friend. Well, some of the things that people call fun, <laughs> well, they're pretty strange. Uh, did you know that duck herding is popular in the UK? I've even seen an article that described it as a competitive sport. <laughs> I mean, it apparently involves people guiding ducks around a course with obstacles and challenges, along with the help of sheep dogs, amazingly enough, to eventually reach a pen. And could be interesting to watch once, <laughs> but not something for which I think fun would be the first word to pop into my mind. Have you ever heard of staff riding yet? In Johannesburg, South Africa, that's the term for what I'd have described as train surfing. Yeah, people climbing out of the passenger car of a moving train and either hanging onto the handrails while doing gymnastic type moves or getting up onto the roof and performing acrobatics. Yeah, definitely not something I'd recommend since a pretty fair number of the folks who've had fun this way also get maimed, electrocuted, or killed. Hey, if you enjoy seeing yourself on television, news rating is a much safer way to have fun <laughs> since it involves almost no risk. All you need to do is find locations of live shot news reports. Then you get to the location and make it into the shot as a bystander or a passerby. Just be aware that the insiders who make a hobby of this keep track of how many shots they've been in. So it's Probably not a one-time thing, <laughs> and they call that fun. Well, I'm not going to get into detailed descriptions of things like collecting naval fluff. I know one guy that has over 22 grams, his own, I hope. Extreme ironing. Yeah, I have no idea how that one's fun. Mooing. Yeah, like a cow. <laughs> Started in Wisconsin, naturally and collecting in-flight air sickness bags. Unused, I would hope. I mean, none of those things strike me as fun, not in my book. I've said before that nothing is more fun than serving God with people you love, and that's true. Now, you may think, so, you may think serving God sounds like less fun than collecting navel fluff, and I'd be the first to admit that serving God is not always easy, nor would I claim that is totally safe. In fact, sometimes it's rather uncomfortable. But one can always make it fun, especially according to the definition that I'm about to give you. You see, today's verse says, he who is faithful in little will also be faithful in much. So how can you have fun being faithful? Well, not long ago, I met former NFL Pro Bowl defensive tacker Tommy Harris we spent a few hours getting to know one another. Tommy said that when he first came to Christ, he really struggled a bit with having to leave behind all the fun that the bar scene offers to a, a high-profile professional athlete. You know, unlimited drinks, women, action. Actually, pretty much unlimited whatever you want. Of course, once your fame, money, or contract run out, you're not going to find much fun there anymore. And just like staff riding, this kind of fun tends to maim or kill most of the folks who do it for any experienced length of time, at least on the inside, if not on the outside too. So Tommy asked God what he was supposed to do for fun now that he was a believer. And God gave Tommy a definition of fun that transformed his understanding of the word. God told Tommy that if he was willing to learn to be comfortable being uncomfortable, God would open doors where Tommy could unleash his faith and see it have a big 
impact now. Changing lives, sharing God's wisdom, scoring points that really mattered. God told Tommy that unleashing his faith would be more fun than he had ever experienced in any bar or bedroom. God's definition of fun is this. Faith unleashed now. I shared a devotional not too long ago called How to Catch Fish. I spoke about how boring it is to watch someone else fish and even gave you three rules for fishing. We're called to be people fishers. I knew that. But now I've got a better perspective on how much fun fishing can be. God said allowing your faith to be unleashed now will be fun. I want to learn to be comfortable being uncomfortable. In fact, I can't wait. Okay, people fishers, let God lead you into situations where you can unleash your faith and be used by him. Faith unleashed now. Go have some fun. <laughs> hey, as you do, would you help me introduce people to the Jesus that they never knew and help them get to know him and his word personally and better? Please like this video to help more people see it. Click follow or subscribe so you and I can get together every day. And of course, one more thing, share it with a friend, would you? Because as you do, you're part of the team touching hearts all over the world with the love of Jesus. Thanks for helping.